Book in the middle two, this time we're going to be taking a look at conditional activities. This means we're going to restrict the access to certain content based on what the student has done previously. Let's take this candidate sign off for example. We want to restrict the access to the label in section two or topic two based on the student completing the candidate sign off. So to, do, to apply this we need to jump into or we'll update this label. Now conditions can be applied to pretty much everything in Moodle 2. So under the restrict access section you want to look for a restriction of the candidate sign off so that's one of the quizzes in this course and we're going to say that they need to have completed that and got 100% so we'll see what that looks like from the student's point of view what we expect to happen is for this content to be hidden for that student until they've completed this quiz. So let's log out and log back in as a student. Let's log in as Jerry Lewis. So remember we're a student now. So we're going to click on the course. and you'll see that the image and the first label in topic 2 is not displaying. So if we go into the candidate sign off, they're going to attempt the quiz and we get a bunch of true false questions. Remember they need to get 100% so if they clicked false in any of these they wouldn't see that label. For the sake of the example we're going to click true on all of them. Uh, submit all and finish and confirm. So upon returning to the home page of that course or that unit we now see the label show up because the candidate sign off uh, has been completed and the student received 100%. So that's how conditional activities work and as I mentioned they can be applied to almost anything in Moodle.